Ah! 
good boy. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Best sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. 
I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Know how I slid his throat and ran away? I never felt bad about killing him. I ran back to where my mama was working, but she died. I was falling into trouble. Dutch. Dutch, he found me. Saved me. Raised me. Treated me right. Taught me to read. Room by the fire here, Mr. Morgan. What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember the old man saying that a broken mirror means seven years of bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Get it warm. Yep. been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the greys over at the saloon. 
They spoke to Bill about a job. Needing some After security. a farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Judge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. What? What did they afford their fears? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the break ones. Listen, I know these great boys are in now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you... <laughs>
Zombie Morgan. You see that window and show and scope? Don't talk to me about slap. Better in here, not there. So yeah, taking the graves might be up to it after all. Now it's sinking in. So much for you. What damn loot? We ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out of it. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? No. You see Bill anywhere? like a man! You want us to come out? We'll come out! Yeah. Oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Well, take the boy's body. 
Very improper someplace, quiet. Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. I know you worry. Everybody, just stay calm. Now is not the time to get hysterical. We're gonna find that boy. Calm down. This is all be okay. 